hot pink. I'm excited. Hey everyone, this is Abby, your favorite ortho hygienist. That's right, it's me. So you know the drill. I'm gonna ask you if you can please hit that like button, that subscribe, and you know, comment below on anything that you have questions about in the video that's coming up, and let's get started. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and show you some a patient who's gonna get her braces put on. She is 13 years old, and she just presents with some mild to moderate crowding so on top just some mild maxillary crowding what i mean by maxillary that's the top and then the bottom is the mandibular moder moderate crowding and so the mandibular is the lower so we're gonna go ahead and get started first what we're gonna do is just kind of remove any like light amount of plaque residue that she has on the outside surfaces of her teeth on the facial buckle areas And then we're gonna go ahead and apply the etch which is the blue shampoo that we put on the outside surfaces of the teeth now what the blue etch does it kind of makes the tooth chalky so when we blow air and we apply the bracket it's gonna adhere a lot tougher and and it's gonna get a good retention and so I know that when they put the blue shampoo on your teeth and they wash it off, it does not taste good. It can taste like really sour or tart and it makes your saliva even more, increase more. But you just have to make sure that, you know, you get your mouth rinsed afterwards and then stay open and make sure that um, you don't close because the area from there on out needs to stay really dry. So once we've uh, washed everything out, we've dried all the tooth surfaces, make them really chalky, we'll apply the bonding material um, to the outside surfaces of the teeth and then we'll put the glue on our brackets and then place the brackets on the teeth. So the next step after that, we're gonna go ahead and place the brackets. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and measure. And once we are done measuring, we're gonna go ahead and cure the tooth, the teeth or the brackets with the glue, uh, with our blue clearing light, which is our little bright, bright blue princess light that we use.
So on the top, you might notice that she doesn't have that much crowding and you're probably wondering why would she even put braces on the top and not just the bottom. So remember that whenever you move teeth, either on the maxillary or the mandibular, your bite is gonna change. So if you just wanna put braces on the mandibular, then you're gonna have to put braces on the top to help with any bite adjustment because your bite's gonna change and so sometimes that's why we incorporate the rubber bands. And if you have any questions on the rubber bands, we'll click on the link above and it'll take you straight to that video. And so you always have to make sure that when every, anybody, any dental technician uses this carrying light, you have to use some um, orange goggles or you keep your eyes closed because it's very bright and it can hurt your eyes. So once we're carrying, this part kind of takes a while, so it's just kind of like a waiting game. Um, so I, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know that we are so thankful for our subscribers. We are at 140. 4k oh my gosh can you believe that i remember we just had like 500 400 subscribers and even at that i think we were so thankful for having and we've definitely grown over the years thanks to our social media guy who always is behind the scenes of all of this his name is Raphael, so give him a shout out <laughs> And then um, also, you know, thank you again for supporting us, our videos, keep sharing, keep liking, keep commenting. We're always looking forward to, you know, your comments, your thoughts, and what you think of our videos. So um, yeah, and thank you. So now what we're gonna do is place a, her wires on and we're gonna place her color singles. So remember when you first start your ortho, there's a series of wires that you have to go through and the very first wire she is getting is is what we call an 012 night tie wire it's very thin and it's a flexible wire so um, she won't feel as much retention but as we start to transition to the other wire she'll start to feel them get a little bit more aggressive but by then a lot of our patients are already used to the transitions and you know adjustments and tightening of the brackets braces or any of that so once the wire is placed on, we've already put on the colors and she, be I believe she got hot pink. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of let the patient know how she can use her wax and then any of the home care recommended products that you can click on the link above, it'll take you straight to our storefront store and then you can go ahead and invest in yourself and the things that we recommend because um, if you don't use your tooth bristles, you'll accumulate plaque gingival inflammation that means like red meat red uh, your gums are bleeding and then you also want to use your water pick and that's going to be your best friend during your orthodontic treatment so our final part is placing the spacers now the spacers is like a bright turquoise thick rubber band that we place in between the molars and the molar and premolar so what that does it helps create some space to help place the molar bands in the following appointment and usually they're left on for about a week and if you want to know more about those spacers there's a super cool video that you can click click the link above and it'll take you directly there now remember these spacers are not comfortable everyone says is probably the most uncomfortable part of the braces so just take some Tylenol beforehand right before bed and um, just or either take it like a chap <laughs> As you can see in this case, um, we kind of struggled putting on the spacers on her because her contact is so tight. This is a good example of why we need that space to place those smaller bands. And sometimes what it'll, it'll also do, it'll feel like you have meat stuck in between your teeth or it's creating pressure on your gums, which it really is. But if we're not able to put those rubber bands in, it's a little hard to place the molar bands. 
Now that is it for today. If you like our video, give us a, give us a thumbs up. Comment below again if anything, you have any questions about anything, if you have any concerns about anything, you have any questions about hygiene, any questions for me, anything that you want to see. Um, and thank you again, and we hope to see you at the next video. Bye! If you like racist content and you want to see more, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yeah.